Hey guys, this is Torsten speaking, and today I have a tutorial on how to install the worst mod for Watch Dogs. Um, yeah, I decided to do this as um, a lot of people on the internet have been searching for it. I thought, you know what? I've done it. I've recorded. So I'll let, you know, I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, so um, first things first. Okay, so you need to go onto this website, which I'll post a link into the description box down below. Um, this is the page on the guru3d.com. Okay, so you have to make sure that the worst mod 0.8 download, well, at the time, which is the 3rd of July 2014. Um, so, yeah, if you just have a look down here, you'll be able to see some added, added like textures, um, such as um, rain, blue, SSAO changes, etc. And these all contribute to. The, uh, the superior look to the game. Anyway, let's get down to business. Uh, for install instructions, is just right here. I will go through with it with you just to make sure that everything's done. And um, yeah, pretty sure it's going to work anyway. So yes, you go down to this download link, which is right here. You want to go for the 0.8 version, as this is, this is um, the newer version at this time. So you click on it and. Um, about five seconds time you'll be able to download it automatically if it doesn't then you just click down at the link right here um, I've already installed it seeing as it takes up 850 megabytes so I just speeded it up a little bit so I'll just double click this button and it should extract it there you go so you extract it to the place um, it doesn't matter where you extract it as long as you are able to get access to it at this moment in time I um, put it to documents and I've already extracted it so I will go to documents which is right here okay so this should be a folder called the worst mod 0.8 and the maldu config tool so you click on this and what you need to do now is follow these important steps which I've got for you okay so once you've downloaded the file um, you open the con the config file which is located in this folder the WDT data so you double click it click the config and then you double click this okay I've already done it but I'll show you how to get to it for this bit it's the game path you need to change when you um, first install this it will just be blank this is perfect this is fine this is how it's meant to be Okay, so what you meant to do is find the folder in which your watchdogs is created. In a mic, oh crap, I didn't mean to press that one. <laughs> games, I'm so used to it. Documents. In my case, it's under games, which is on my um, external hard drive. And then it should be under watchdogs. Then you basically port it in, yeah, just in this folder right here. So you just put it into this folder right here. So you just copy this address, which is f drive um, backslash watched underscore dogs in my case. So you get that link. Go to where it says game path right here. Then copy the address in. Once you've done that, you click save, and then that should be done. The next thing you need to do now is go to this one, the WD tool. You double click this and it should open up an iPhone and play some really loud music. Okay, so these are just the effects that you can manually change. Um, it's not going to be set accordingly how you want it, but you can change it, which is quite good really. On the earlier version, you wasn't allowed to do this, it just said this is the mod, install it, there you go. Now um, everyone's getting a bit advanced, everyone's starting to add little tweaks where you can hold it yourself, which is uh, very good. Lighting, I'll click that on. Camera. This is the camera from the third person view. I like that just normal because that's just the, uh, the common one. Everything else um, is on. So once this is all turned on to how you like it, click this button and try change it. Click that and then a little black box will come on and it will probably give it a take about five seconds or so. Any longer. 
longer. It doesn't really matter too much, it's just the fine changes to it. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much what you need to do for this mod. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, what you need to do now is load up the game. Well, let's see if I can find it. Mine's on. What was it on? It's on UPlay, but I've got it on Steam at the moment because it's just easier to get. And yes, I have got quite a lot of games. <laughs> yeah, um, for some reason when I purchased this game, it wouldn't let me install it on Steam, so I just used UPlay. Which is what it's meant to come on, really. I don't really agree with that, but that's another story. Okay, so yeah, I'm just in. Do, 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 do. There we go. Click on games. Click on Watch Dogs. Play. And yes, hopefully it should have installed it. I'll just double check to make sure it is and show you guys that it actually does work. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why uh, the whole concept of, you know, the better mod mod um, wasn't implemented into the game I think it's just because they just wanted to uh, you know, level it out with the, the next gen consoles arise you know if the next gen consoles weren't as good as the PC version more people would side towards the PC version and kind of think you know what is the point of the next gen console if it can't play next gen games and I kind of believe that in a way because it does seem the most um, reasonable answer Okay, so yes, the game is loaded up. Click any key to continue. Blah blah blah. So yeah, everything's just going to be in the description box below. Um, if you want to see more of this mod, I've got some playlists um, that I've set up earlier, so you'll be able to watch some videos of there. Oh crap! I didn't mean to press credits. Um, click options just to make sure everything's okay. My graphics quality is going to be on ultra and everything because um, that's how I've been playing it. Display, make sure everything's okay. Yep, everything must be in order. Yeah, sometimes if you install an update or whatnot, it sometimes changes the music. And if you're loading it to YouTube or whatnot, you're not allowed to have music. So uh, just to advise you on that if you uh, changed it. So now I can click continue and wait for this game to load up and I'll be able to show you the new mods that have been installed in this game. There we go, the game is now installed and I have got the mods right here. Um, I'm on a mission at the moment, but I can easily quit this if I need to. I'll just go backwards. So yeah, these are the new mods. I think they definitely make a difference, don't they? If you compare it to the original version, it's, you know, it's dramatic. That's how bad it is. Um, I'll just do a little uh, circle of the area to see if I can. Show you some gameplay on a boat. Graphics uh, quite nice now. Quite uh, nice. Quite oh shit! No. <laughs> the, uh, the warning. A bit smoother. There's no um, performance issues that I've experienced at the moment. Everything's quite smooth. I think I'm going to fail this bit. Seeing huh? <laughs> Here. Yeah, I failed it. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's just a little glimpse of what the game is like. If you want to see more of my mod um, gameplay, then just click on the links below and you'll be able to get a link to the next video, which is all about the latest mods, etc. Okay, this is Tolson speaking, and thank you for watching. If you like this, then please like and subscribe to become a part of the Tolson PC Gamer community. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and see you in the next episode.